This is a, good, as a continuation of the previous tutorial that we showed you uh, manually putting in these meet results that you see before us. Uh, so uh, we look at them and we say, oh, th those look nice. Um, but you see, what I really would like to do is to list out these athletes here who put the teams. Race Spirit Jam does something like that. So maybe you, you like that format. Uh, so you can click on uh, Customize. And you should really become comfortable with that Customize button uh, and all the options here because you can do a lot of different things. And we're only going to be adding more customization that you can make in the future. So what we can do is uh, check Athletes by Team. And you'll see down here on the Team Results, now we have that option. Um, we can we can do all kinds of uh, other customizations up here. Um, so let's click Customize, and we can change, uh, for example, uh, the the column names. So instead of name, we want to say athlete name. Instead of affiliation uh, team, we want to say affiliation. If I can spell, and we want to turn this grade column into a sex column. Uh, and so then uh, what we do down here is instead of, if you put your mouse over this, um, you'll see the little tooltip pop up and tell you what some of your, op your options are. Um, so one of the options here, instead of the uh, GR, I can put GN, which stands for gender. So we can essentially turn that grade column into a gender column. Um, we can also change the, the widths of the field. So we want to make that three columns wide. Uh, maybe we think it was too wide, so we want to shorten teams. We want LinkedIn athletes. You know, anything. There's a lot of different things that you can do. And then we click Done. And you'll see it updated that for us with our sex column and our changed headers. And we still have our names down here. Um, so there's a lot of other things that you can do. And I can say, mess around with it, get familiar. Um, we can, uh, for example, limit how many places we want to show if we wanted to. So then it only shows the first five places. But the, uh, the point is there's a lot you can do. But you get through all these customizations and say, that's great, but you know I'm going to have to make all these changes every time, and that's going to take me forever. Well, no, you can make the changes once you get it how you want it. And then up here, you'll see there's a Save button. So you can save this as a, t as a template. So um, we'll just name this Template Results. And so then you close out of it, and the next time you pull it back up, it's going to be back the default way that it was. Um, and so what you can do is just click load and it will give you a list of your templates and you just choose that one and it goes back to the way you had it. So it's very flexible and very easy. A good combination.